December 2024, a point of light drifts past the orbit of Mars, not circling, passing through. 3I Atlas, the second confirmed visitor from beyond our solar system, tracked by telescopes across three continents, expected, predictable, following gravitational law like scripture, until it wasn't, the trajectory bent, not by gravity, not by anything we'd accounted for. Something pushed it, changed its course, applied force where no force should exist. And we have no idea what, what would you do if you were the astronomer who first saw those numbers? If you realized that something right now, millions of kilometers away, was defying the mathematics that govern everything we know. Let me take you back. September 2019. A telescope in Crimea catches light that doesn't belong. The asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system, ATLAS, built to find rocks that might end us. Instead, it found something that came from stars we can't even name. At first, the data looked wrong. The orbit didn't close. It wasn't elliptical. It was hyperbolic, a shape that meant only one thing. This object didn't come from here. It came from interstellar space, from the dark between stars, from a place where our mathematics end and mystery begins. They named it 3I Atlas, the third interstellar object humanity has ever detected. The first comet from another star, and it was beautiful in its simplicity. Jets of gas erupting from its surface as frozen volatiles met solar heat. Visible, measurable, exactly what a comet should do. Scientists breathe easier. Not like, oh, moo, ah, moo, ah. Not like that smooth, cigar-shaped visitor that accelerated without explanation and vanished before we could understand it. This one made sense. Until perihelion. December 24th, 2024. Three I Atlas reached its closest point to our star, just over 100 million kilometers, close enough for temperatures to spike, for ice to boil into space, for jets to fire in chaotic bursts, and then it began to accelerate. Not from jets, not from anything visible. The vector was wrong. The direction didn't match the outgassing. Tracking stations confirmed it independently. Europe, Chile, Hawaii, all seeing the same impossible thing. Something was pushing 3I Atlas, changing its path, applying thrust in a direction that no comet jet, no sublimation plume, no fragmentation event could explain. If you want the algorithm to keep showing you 3I Atlas updates as they unfold, hit like now. That's how YouTube knows you're part of this investigation. That's how you stay in the loop as new data arrives. Comment what you think is happening, even one word. Because right now, the scientists tracking this object can't agree on an answer. Let's talk about what we know, what the instruments captured, what the math confirms. 3I Atlas is small, maybe 200 meters across, icy composed of frozen gases locked in deep space cold for billions of years. As it approached our star, those ices began to wake. Water, carbon monoxide, methane, molecules that had been solid since before Earth formed, suddenly heating, expanding, erupting. Telescopes watched jets form. Visible geysers of gas bursting from the surface. Asymmetric, uneven. Creating thrust, yes, but thrust that should have pushed the comet in a predictable direction. Spectroscopy revealed the chemistry. Infrared arrays measured temperature gradients. Orbital mechanics calculated expected trajectories based on observed jets. The numbers didn't match. The acceleration vector pointed 12 degrees off from where the primary jet activity suggested it should. 
12 degrees might not sound like much, but in orbital mechanics, it's everything. It's the difference between prediction and mystery. No fragmentation events were observed. No sudden brightening that would indicate a breakup. No debris field forming behind it. Just steady, consistent, unexplained acceleration. Researchers checked everything. Calibration errors, systematic bias in observations, gravitational perturbations from Jupiter's distant pull. Clean, the data was clean. Three, IATLAS was accelerating. And we couldn't explain why. Here's your moment, your chance to be part of the investigation. A equals natural phenomenon. Asymmetric outgassing, we're not detecting. Internal ice sublimation creating invisible thrust. B equals unknown process, something inside the comet. Energy release, we don't understand. Mechanisms we've never observed. C equals something entirely new. Physics we haven't written yet. Possibilities we haven't imagined. Comment A, B, or C, and you'll be part of what drives this investigation forward. The next update could literally include what you think, no wrong answers, just human curiosity staring at a puzzle the universe handed us. Now we enter the uncomfortable space where models break, where equations refuse to close. The problem isn't that comets accelerate. They do, all the time. When ice turns to gas, it erupts, creates thrust, pushes the comet like a tiny, chaotic rocket. We've watched this happen to dozens of comets. We understand the physics, but we see the jets when it happens. Hubble has watched comets fall apart in real time, watched jets carve across their surfaces, watched debris streams form and fade. James Webb can detect thermal signatures. Heat gradients can identify which regions of a comet are actively venting gas. Multiple observatories studied 3i Atlas. The visible jets don't explain the motion. Let that sink in. Something is pushing this object, changing its velocity by measurable amounts. But the source of that push isn't where we're looking. Something is reaching across the void and nudging this object. No hand, no engine, no jet, just force. Unseen, unexplained, undeniable. Theory one. Delayed momentum transfer. Maybe perihelion heated internal ice. Deep ice beneath meters of insulating crust. Maybe that ice is now sublimating, venting through cracks too small to see, creating thrust from the interior. Possible. But comets this small don't usually have thick crusts. And delayed outgassing typically shows up as brightness increases. We're not seeing that. Theory two, crystallization. Amorphous ice can spontaneously reorganize into crystalline structure. The phase transition releases energy. Could that energy create thrust? Maybe. But the energy released from crystallization is small, orders of magnitude too weak to explain the observed acceleration. Theory three. Radioisotope decay. If 3i atlas formed in an environment rich in unstable isotopes, their decay could generate heat, internal heat, enough to sublimate ice from within. Exotic. Unlikely, but not impossible. Theory four, the one nobody wants to say out loud in peer-reviewed journals, the one that gets whispered about at conferences after the third drink. What if it's not natural? Oh, moo, ah, moo, ah, raised this question in 2017. Smooth, tumbling, accelerating without visible outgassing. Scientists from Harvard proposed it might be a light sail, artificial, engineered. The paper was published. The backlash was immediate. But the question remains, 
hangs in the air like smoke you can't wave away. If you wanted to study another star system, if you wanted to send a probe on a journey lasting millions of years, would you make it look like a comet? Would you use sublimation as camouflage? I'm not claiming. Three I atlas is a probe. I'm not claiming anything. I'm asking, does this change how you see our place in the universe? Does unexplained acceleration in an interstellar object make you feel smaller or more curious or afraid? Because right now, the universe is showing us something we don't understand. And that should terrify us and thrill us in equal measure. We're watching it, but we can't explain it. So maybe it's time someone outside the observatories asks the questions no one dares to put in a paper. Maybe that's you. So to recap, an object from beyond our solar system is accelerating and we have no visible reason why. No jets align, no fragments explain it, and every explanation so far still leaves something out. Step back with me. Look at what we're really doing here. A species that has existed for 300,000 years. That built telescopes in the last 400. That detected interstellar objects in the last decade. We're standing on a rock, circling an ordinary star, watching something pass through from a place we will never reach. And we're trying to understand it, trying to decode its motion with equations written by humans who never imagined we'd track visitors from other stars. Newton gave us gravity. Kepler gave us orbits. They built the language we use to describe celestial motion. And that language is failing, not because it's wrong, but because 3i Atlas is showing us something new, something at the edge of what our physics can explain. Maybe that's the real message. Not that the object is artificial, not that aliens are real or interstellar travel is happening, but that the universe is stranger than our models predict, that nature has more tricks than our textbooks contain. Every time we think we've figured it out, figured out comets, figured out orbits, figured out the rules, something arrives from the dark and shows us we're still guessing. Oh, Mua, Mua did it. Three, I, Atlas, is doing it. And there will be more. More interstellar visitors. More unexplained accelerations. More moments when the data refuses to fit the theory. We are so small. Our sun is one star among 400 billion in this galaxy alone. Our galaxy is one among trillions. The universe is so vast that light from distant regions will never reach us no matter how long we wait. And yet, we build machines that can detect a 200 meter rock moving through interstellar space. We measure its velocity to meters per second. We map its trajectory across millions of kilometers. We see the universe pushing back against our understanding. And instead of surrendering, we build better instruments. Write one sentence in the comments. Finish this thought. This means, this means we're not done learning. This means the universe still has secrets. This means humanity's story is just beginning. Or maybe it means something else entirely. Three, I, Atlas, is leaving. This is an ancient history. It's unfolding right now. Every second we speak, 3i Atlas is still being pushed by something we don't understand. If this helped you follow what's unfolding right now, hit like it keeps this topic alive in the algorithm and tells me to keep going. Right now, as you watch this, it's accelerating away from our star, moving back into the dark between stars. Heading toward a destination it will reach long after everyone alive today is gone. We'll keep tracking it for years, maybe decades if we're lucky. The European Space Agency has proposals to build dedicated interstellar object detectors, networks of telescopes designed specifically to catch these visitors early, to study them while they're close. 
NASA is evaluating rapid response mission concepts, spacecraft that could launch within months of detection, intercept an interstellar object while it's still in range. Because we need to know, we need to see these objects up close, sample their surfaces, measure their composition, understand what processes could create the accelerations we're observing. The James Webb Space Telescope will observe future visitors. Infrared spectroscopy that can detect heat sources invisible to other instruments. Map temperature variations across surfaces. Identify active regions. But here's the truth. We might never know what pushed 3i Atlas. It might leave our detection range still accelerating, still defying our models, still mysterious. And that's okay, because the question is what matters? The pursuit, the fact that we looked up and saw something we couldn't explain and decided that meant we needed to look harder. 500 years ago, comets were omens, signs from gods, harbingers of plague and war. Now they're puzzles, data sets, opportunities to test our understanding of physics. But maybe they're still omens, just different ones. Maybe interstellar objects are messages, not from civilizations, not from intelligences like us, but from the universe itself, saying, you don't know everything yet, keep looking, keep questioning, stay curious. Three, I Atlas is millions of kilometers away now, growing fainter, harder to track. But the questions it raised are still here, still burning in the minds of astronomers who watched those numbers change, who saw acceleration that didn't fit, who realized we might be witnessing something we've never seen before. So tell me, what do you think happens next? Do we solve it? Do we launch a mission? Do we discover that 3i Atlas was the first of many? and that interstellar objects are far stranger than we imagined? Or does it fade into history? One more mystery we couldn't solve. One more reminder that the universe doesn't owe us understanding. Maybe both. Maybe the answer is waiting in data we haven't collected yet. In telescopes, we haven't built. In physics, we haven't discovered. Or maybe the answer is simpler than we think, and we're just not looking in the right place. Either way, something pushed. 3i Atlas changed its course through space, applied for us in a direction we can't explain. And until we understand why, we're just passengers on a planet orbiting an ordinary star, watching visitors from the dark, and trying to read their stories in the language of mathematics and light. The universe isn't silent. It's speaking. Maybe we don't understand the language yet, but we finally started listening.